Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen now to the first live English commented video. Uh, one second please, one note for the German speaking viewers. Achtung, Hinweis, dies ist nur eine englische Version meines auch auf Deutsch existierenden Hotel Reviews vom Hotel Stadt Altona in Hamburg, das ihr ebenfalls auf meinem Kanal findet. So now I'm back, I'm currently standing here in Hamburg, Altona, at the Hotel Stadt Altona, which is a five to seven minutes walk from the suburban train station Hamburg Reeperbahn and the famous red light district way. It is one of the cheap options. I know this uh, property uh, from back in 2013 as I stood there also before a cruise. And now I want to see what have changed here in the last eight years. Come and see with me together. So friends, I'm back here with you and we have checked in here to the Hotel Stadt Altona in Hamburg, Germany. And uh, as I said, I knew this property from back in 2013 and they renovated it a bit and they got uh, new elevators here and uh, new floors and it, it looks a bit better than back in the time when I was here. And uh, yeah, the woman at the reception is uh, very nice, very friendly. And we had to fill the registration form. I always don't understand uh, when I book with the internet and I have typed in all my data why they don't have printed it into the form and you just have to subscribe it and uh, everything is done. You come in with the face mask, your glasses uh, will be fogged up and you don't see anything at the first moment and then you have to fill this. It's a little bit complicated. You could make that easier but yeah, she was nice and helped us a little bit and now we managed it. Well, I have room 310 in the third, at the third floor and uh, Christian has 316 which is uh, just uh, opposite the corridor. And now let's have a look here what we got for 50 euros. We paid for the night only, no breakfast is offered uh, as far as I saw and uh, yeah. That's a very cheap price, especially when you think that you are only uh, a five to seven minutes walk away from the suburban station Reeperbahn with the famous red light district and all the, the party locations. And you also have a 10 to 15 minutes walk to the uh, Landungsbrücken, which is uh, down at the uh, water and uh, it's very touristic spot. So there is uh, nearly everything nearby if you want to go out in the evening and I think that's a very cheap price and this price explains that the hotel is a little bit beat up because there are especially party people coming to here to stay here. This is not a place where families go for their holiday or by business travel or go. This is a cheap hotel for people who want to enjoy the nights and uh, yeah, you see that at a few edges here. So let's see what we got here for a room. We have a closet here, which is a little bit beat up as I said. <laughs> and uh, we have three, five, seven, eight, nine hangers. Those are okay. They are from different quality, different times, different materials. So these metal ones are typical here in Germany. You get them if you gave uh, something to the dry cleaning, you get it back with those kind of hangers. So they put it in here and uh, this is uh, wood. These are better quality and they are, yeah. Let's don't talk about it. It's it's okay for one night. I 
hardly hang something in here. I don't have a suit with me because we don't go on a very uh, luxury cruise ship. We go on uh, Ida tomorrow and uh, yeah, you don't need a suit there. So there's no reason for me to hang it in the, in the closet until tomorrow. Yeah, we have these curtains here which are not blind out the light completely but I think for the night it will do its job and we have a window here we have a view outside here this is the direction where we came from when we walk to the hotel we have a chair which is from decent quality it's okay and we have this yeah, desk area here with a very small television okay you can sit here and watch from here it's okay and but if you lay in bed yeah, you need a telescope to see something what's going on on the screen this is a very yeah, small very cheap thing I think but it uh, yeah it does the job and uh, most people as I said before won't come here to sit in the room and watch television so maybe you want to spend an hour when it's raining or an hour when you wait for someone to go out or whatever or you want to see the news and yeah it does the job for it and we have a little bin down there and we have these cupboards here as you can see and imagine here from this this was a former mini bar and this was a space where you could put glasses and so on so but it's no longer in use and i'm not sure if these are uh, from this hotel here i can't remember back in 2013 how the furniture looks he looked here and uh, I'm also not sure if uh, if we had the rooms on the same floor and so yeah I'm not sure if this or is original from here or if it maybe came used from another hotel and was a cheap buy I not sure if there was uh, ever a mini bar here but maybe it was this hotel was back in the days it was a a little bit more famous I knew there was a movie made here in the hotel but I don't remember the name but I can remember that they showed the hotel bar at the ground floor a few times and so maybe back in the 70s also this was a little bit more more posh than today so we have the bed here so and the position of the power outlet there shows me that this is probably not the original setup from the room here and uh, yeah the wall is a little bit beat up there and we have this nightstand which is yeah from dates from a newer time this is not original fitting to the furniture here in the room yeah, but it's okay. We have a night lamp here which is switched on here, so that's good. So you don't have to do something here with the cable with the switch there. The switch is up there. This is good. We have the Wi Fi informations put here on the desk. The light is up there over the window. So this also does the job we have a door here to the main entrance so this blocks out some noise from the corridor if it's noisy at the night I close this because the housekeeping stuff was at the corridor a few minutes ago still and I didn't want to hear them all I was telling here and what I'm doing here so we have one hook here I put my jacket here we have the evacuation plan we have the door here so yeah we can close it here with our key we have a classic key here's also another light 
and then we have the bathroom here which is very basic standards it's yeah what I see say you probably can imagine the age of this house uh, but yeah some things are done new we have a new sink and the, the tile walk also seems to be quite new so they did something here indeed there is done something it on the first glimpse it it didn't look very clean i will look with my black light to see how it is in detail i will show you and tell you but i think yeah it does the job it's a very basic hotel but we also paid for for hamburg we paid a very basic price so yeah i think that's okay So I just had a look with my black light here. I put you in some sequences of my German review to see what it's like in the bathroom and yeah it is it is okay but it is not proper clean in the bathroom. The tile work had to be wiped down better and around the toilet there are stains on the tiles and the floor that's not so nice but yeah I I didn't expect much more because as I said I knew this from the past and it it was much much worse than uh, it is now so uh, yeah <laughs> I, I knew what I was booking here so let's say it's okay but it's not great but okay for one night good morning here from the Hotel Stadt Altona in Hamburg. Yeah, our stay goes to the end and the uh, night is already over. And yeah, what can I say? I slept quite well here. It was quiet on the corridor. So yeah, I think that's a benefit if you can sleep well here. The bed is okay, you can sleep here, the blanket is also nice, it's not too thick, so most time hotel rooms are quite warm, so uh, it's, it's good to sleep here. The pillow is a little bit on the lumpy side, so yeah, for one or two nights it is okay, but not more. And another thing is here in the bathroom. Yes, the shower works very good. I was surprised about that. And uh, even this shower curtain thing did the job very well. Of course, I like it more if there is a fixed shower wall. You can close the door and uh, yeah, that works better. But th that was okay. And the other thing was I only had a big towel and such a floor mat here in my room. And as I showered twice since yesterday, I didn't want to dry my face off with this towel anymore. And uh, then I asked at the reception and they gave a small one to me. So I think they have just forgotten to put it inside here before I arrived. 
yeah, all in all it was okay. We paid 50 euro for the room, night only. They don't offer breakfast at the moment. They have some coffee downstairs, so you can grab a coffee before you go. They have uh, cups there and they have uh, to-go cups, paper cups there with uh, lids. So you can take a coffee there before you go or when you go. But they don't offer real breakfast anymore. Even the hotel bar is closed. I don't know if it's about uh, COVID or if it's permanently closed now. Uh, yeah, but they only offer the rooms anymore. So yeah, if you want to have something to eat, you have to go anywhere else. So we paid 50 euro for the night. I think that's a very fair price for the location. It is near to everything. Here you may want to see. And uh, yeah, you can reach it very fast in a five minute, five to seven minute walk from the suburban train station uh, Reeperbahn. And I think that's a, that's a big plus. So. Uh, <coughs> That's okay, and uh, I didn't want to pay much more for a room like this. You can see what kind of hotel it is and what kind of people usually stay here. But all in all, it is okay. It is a fair price. So sometimes uh, when you come in summer, as you always know, hotel rates depend on demand. I was here five years ago in summer, not in this hotel, but in Hamburg, and I hardly got a hotel far away, out of the city, 20 minutes ride with the uh, train, with the metro, and it was uh, more than 60 euros for the night, and was also it was a nice hotel, but it was also basic, a budget hotel. So, yeah. It depends on demand for a price around 50 or also 60 euro in the, in the peak season. That's totally fine. I didn't want to pay 100 euro or more for this, but for what it is, it is okay. So that is it from my side. I hope you liked the first live commented English review. I thought I did the English version live because it makes it a little more entertaining as the synchronized ones. Uh, but uh, please understand I can't do this with all videos because sometimes so when you sit in a train or you are on a train station also you don't have the time to uh, film everything twice and uh, explain everything twice so with the hotel reviews that is nice and easy it is for me it, it is to make it is to manage to do this uh, I hope I can more English reviews for my international viewers and I hope you like it and you like and uh, the video and subscribe to my channel and uh, write me back if there is a demand for this English video versions and uh, yeah, then I will do more of it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.